I'm Crystal Hale and I am an independent consultant with Jamberry Nails and I would like to show you a little bit today about removing your Jamberry nail wraps. There are a few different methods. Um, on the Jamberry website their official recommendation is to heat your nail wraps uh, with your mini heater or with your hair dryer or even in just warm water and to slowly peel them off while keeping them heated because that softens the adhesive and that can work but I think it's even better to add an element that will um, dissolve or break down that adhesive a little bit as you're removing them to really minimize the damage that you could possibly have. So I'm going to scoot this back, try to angle down so that you can see me working on my nails. All right, hopefully that will work. I am wearing Desert at Dusk, one of our new mixed manis right now, and um, it's time to take them off and try some new ones. So I have my Jamberry mini heater here. Uh, you don't have to have this. You can use a hair dryer. You can use um, warm water to soften the adhesive when you're removing your jams. But I am going to start here. I'll start with this finger. I'm going to warm up the adhesive a little bit with my heater. And then first I'm going to show you the most natural method of removing your Jamberry nails. I have had this little bowl of coconut oil warming with my heater while I've been setting up my video here. So this is all warm and ready to go. And I warm the adhesive a little bit here. And I'm going to use this little dental floss pick to work the, work the oil under my nail wrap. I'm going to start with an orange stick and I'm going to break, I'll show you a little closer here, break the seal at the bottom of the wrap. Just peel it up the tiniest bit so that you can get something under there to uh, dissolve that adhesive. It is very strong adhesive, which is a good thing. That's why your jams last so long. But when you're taking it off, you want to be sure that you're not rushing it. I'm dipping the floss pick into the coconut oil and pushing it under very, very gently. If you work it back and forth this way, you're going to minimize the damage that removing these wraps can do to your fingernails. So you can just heat the adhesive and slowly peel them off, but this is an even less risky way because uh, the adhesive and oil just don't get along. So there you go, it flipped right off. And this takes a little bit longer because it's so very gentle. That's okay. I'm all right with a little bit longer as long as it's protecting my nails. So that is one method of removing Jamberry nail wraps. The next I'm going to show you is, whoop, there we go. This is 100% acetone. You can use regular nail polish. However, if your regular nail polish has conditioners in it, you're going to want to wash your hands very thoroughly before you try to reapply new wraps because any conditioners that are left on your nails will make it difficult for the wraps to stick to them. So again with my orange stick I'm breaking the seal at the bottom of the wrap and then I'm going to use the the cotton pad that I soaked in acetone work right under the edge there let it sit for a moment and then rub it back let it sit and rub. You go slowly all the way down your nail. Let's see if you can really see that well. I'm just kind of rubbing it. Let it sit for a moment to dissolve the adhesive and rub it a little farther. And the key is always don't rush it. If there's any resistance, go slower. <laughs> you don't want to be pulling a layer of your nail off with that adhesive, which is why I really like to use some kind of product to break down the adhesive as I'm taking it off. 
so I almost got the acetone method there it is sorry if I was flipping you off not intended all right last and my favorite this season Jamberry surprised us by coming out with a non acetone lacquer remover it really should say nail wrap remover as well because it is super awesome at removing your nail wraps and the cool thing is that it has this pump top just like the salons use so you know you got your hand busy over here so easy to just pump up a little bit of the the lacquer remover and uh, you can do that you know one-handed which is handy when you're trying to get your nails done all right break the seal same as before and putting this right at the base letting it soak for a moment and then wiping toward the tip of my nail you start at your cuticle end because the cuticle is the newest growth and it is um, a little bit oilier as it grows and it's right by your skin so it releases a little oils so that's usually going to be the weakest area of your wrap so it's best to start there and work this polish remover all the way down to the tip where it's bonded probably the strongest so same as with the acetone I'm just letting it dissolve and wiping it forward and I love that this doesn't have acetone in it it's a little bit gentler for your nails and your skin it actually only has four ingredients and two of them are colors <laughs> so I think that's kind of awesome that you can reduce the number of chemicals that you're using to remove your nail wraps so there you go coconut oil or you can use olive oil or vegetable oil or almond oil or cuticle oil or whatever you want you can use warm oil you can use acetone or polish remover and you can use the new Jamberry non-acetone lacquer remover which I know it's expensive but you know what it is awesome and I really recommend it honestly I would not tell you to buy it if I wouldn't use it myself so there are a lot of ways that you can take off your wraps and um, don't worry about if you don't have a specific product you probably have something that's going to work and I hope that this video will help you gain confidence with taking them off without damaging your nails. Thanks for watching.